these uh, projects are not zakah eligible? The See, the issue, as we said, there is no project that is zakah eligible. Hmm. There is no project that is zakah eligible. And this is a huge mistake that these charities, they are good charities, sincere charities, but unfortunately for so many of their projects, they say that it is zakah eligible. Water wells, uh, shelters, uh, cataract, they say zakah eligible. Zakah eligible because the money or the, the, the these projects, they are providing these projects for the poor people. So they think because of this, then they are zakah eligible. No. Why? What is the concept here? First of all, the zakah has to be taken from the money and to be given as the jinns of the money that you have taken. Mm. Okay. So you have taken money, uh, then you have to give it to the poor person as money. Mm. You cannot swap it. You cannot use the money and buy something for the poor person. Okay. And it has to be given to the poor person so he owns it. Mm. So water wells, they will not own the water wells. Okay. So this is another problem. But the key problem is from the jinns, from the type of money, you have to give it the same to the poor person. Uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to Mu'ad, فَأَعْلِمْهُمْ أَنَّ اللَّهَ فَتَرَضَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَدَقَةً تُؤْخَذُ مِنْ أَغْنِيَائِهِمْ فَتُرَدُّ فِي فُقَرَائِهِمْ So the money itself. Hmm. And Allah Jalla wa Ala says, إِنَّمَا الصَّدَقَاتُ لِلْفُقَرَاءِ وَالْمَسَاكِينِ وَالْعَامِلِينَ عَلِيهَا Which means that to be given to those people. Now these eight categories, None of them is a project. لِلْفُقَرَاءِ إِنَّمَا الصَّدَقَاتُ لِلْفُقَرَاءِ وَالْمَسَاكِينِ وَالْعَامِلِينَ عَلَيْهَا وَالْمُؤَلَّفَةِ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَفِي الرِّقَابِ وَالْغَارِمِينَ وَفِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَبِنِ السَّبِيلِ The only project maybe is what? في the سبيل. jihad one. Mm-hmm. في سبيل الله. And the others to individuals. Now, many of the organizations, they say, but we are the agent of who? Of the poor person. Mm-hmm. Do Does the poor person, has the poor person given you an authorized wakala so you become a wakil on his behalf? Even if you act as a wakil, you cannot voluntarily become the wakil of someone and say, well, I will take the money on your behalf and I will mm-hmm. without his consent. This is nonsense. Uh, moreover, if the poor person appointed those uh, companies or those charities as a wakil for them, then the poor person has to say, listen, uh, I want to build the shelter for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That person, he is donating zakah. Take the zakah from him and build a shelter for me. Mm-hmm. This is how it works if we want to accept that the charity is acting as a wakil on behalf of the poor person. This is a very common mistake. Now, you might ask, will the zakah be valid or not? Of course, it's not valid Mm. because you haven't given it to the recipients. But maybe the people are excused and uh, maybe, I don't know. They have to check. But the people to be blamed are the charities themselves. And we have said we in ICE, in the Islamic Council of Europe, we have mentioned this number of times. We have issued the Zagai, the Zakah guidance. And me personally, I've been speaking about this for a long time. It is very unfortunate that it is still uh, problematic and so many big uh, charities are taking money and they uh, for, for projects and they say that it is Zakah eligible. Mm. And by the way, this is this is a consensus of all scholars. No one can say, well, yeah, maybe we are following another school of thought or another scholar or maybe some scholars who maybe did not understand the issue. Yeah, maybe they give these fatwas or maybe they just want to be flexible or something like this. But the mainstream Islam, no, of course not. Now, there might be some 
uh, very few exceptions to this, okay, uh, in terms of application, not in terms of theory, when there are areas that you cannot give poor people cash. Mm. Then that has to be treated according to the limitations. Mm-hmm. They cannot just say, yes, the project is zakah eligible. No. You say that, okay, the, the, we cannot take cash to the poor people in that country and they appointed us and this is their needs according to them, not according to us. Mm, yeah? And by the way, from like uh, a strategic perspective, this is so important because the, the Allah Jalla Allah, doesn't want the poor people to be manipulated by those who so, donate to them mm-hmm. and controlled by them. No, give them money and they are free to do whatever they want to do with the money. Let alone, there is another problem, which is conflict of interest. A company that is working in, in uh, doing shelters, they will do shelters. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there is a conflict of interest here. So anyway, we have to educate people about this, educate the charities themselves.